The biggest question on everyone's minds right now on this episode of the Adventurous Joe Show, or more like all over the United States, if you were a superhero, would you protect Donald Trump and his family? Well, that big question we raised on both Twitter and Facebook, and the results are going to shock the hell out of you, because on this episode of the Adventurous Joe Show, we're going to be talking about just that, and it starts right now. decided to post it both on Facebook and Twitter and the results were overwhelming 95% of everyone on Twitter said they would still do their duty as a hero but at the same time if they're doing something they're busy doing something else or they're fighting an enemy and he and him or a member of his family just suddenly bite the bullet oh well yeah there's overwhelming on that one 95% overwhelming. Now, this is a scary thing to talk about, okay, because we're talking about the man who was once known as the richest man on the planet right now and shit like that, okay, now going to be our President of the United States of America, okay? Whew, scary shit, yeah, but either way, his problems, his bad shit he's done in the past and stuff like that, none of that amounts to anything when it comes to him being the President of the United States. And if you, as the hero, a real-life superhero, are going to do your due diligence no matter how you feel about it, or his family, for that matter. One person even said on Twitter, and I quote, when it comes to Donald Trump and his family, I would rather look the other way. And another person said, if uh, I'm busy going to the bathroom or something like that, and, uh, you know, he uh, he suddenly get, bites the bullet, oh well, yeah. There's a very disturbing thought and process in all of this. Because some right now, on Facebook, it was split between... I would do my duty, or I would just look the other way. It's a 50-50. I mean, that was the scariest part about all this. A 50-50. We had 50 responses saying they would do their duty, that mm, protect the President of the United States and his family. And then we had 50 other people say, I would let them all bite the fucking bullet. Okay? Literally. I'm like, wow. Someone uh, on Twitter asked me, what are my personal feelings on this, if I was the superhero? Okay, my personal preferences, I don't like Donald Trump at all. I don't care for him, I don't care about his family, I don't give a shit one iota about any of him or his family, okay? But, 
as a hero, we have a responsibility to watch out and protect those that are innocent, whether we like them or not. Okay? Now, in the case of Donald Trump, there's nothing innocent about that man. Okay? Seriously, there is nothing innocent about him. But, as a superhero, it's not up to us to say, Oh, well, I know you're a bad guy and all, but I'm just going to look the other way while you get killed. Nope. For us, it's a, it's a matter of power and responsibility. Okay? Do you look the other way, or do you do what you need to do, no matter how much you despise it? Well, yours truly, the answer to that is, I would still do my duty. Okay? Because I'm a hero. I will protect those that I have to protect, no matter how much I despise them. Do you know how many times Superman actually protected Lex Luthor? No matter how much he hated him? How much he knew he was a bad guy and stuff? He still protected him? He still tried to help him? Because Superman always tried to find the good in people. Spider-Man was the same way. He believed people needed second chances on things and stuff. And he tried his best to always turn the other cheek on things. He always tried to do the other opposite, too. And not do it, you know? No, I don't want to help him. I don't give a shit about that guy. I hate that guy. No, no, no. No, that's not how it goes. Now, for the real-life heroes of this world that have to look out for the president and his family, that's the Secret Service. Okay? Now... The Secret Service, made up of fine men and women, okay, they are going to have to do their due diligence no matter what happens, okay? No matter how they feel. And believe me, there are probably a lot of them out there that are sitting there saying, oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. Donald Trump is our president now. We're going to have to protect him and his family. Are you fucking kidding me? Doesn't matter how they feel about them. They're going to have to do their duty, put their lives on the line for them. And that is what this whole thing is all about. Would you or wouldn't you? Now, in my opinion, I would totally still do what I need to do, no matter how much I despise this person. Okay? Or his family. I mean, seriously, I don't really know his family, other than what I've heard about them and stuff like that. But I don't care for them. They think they're better people, they're bigger and better people than us and stuff, and little people and stuff, because they got the moolah, they got the riches. No, I, it just wouldn't matter to me. I would still do what's needed to be done. Now, in my stories that I always write, my Transformer stories and stuff, there was always the point where I had to make the choice of would I protect this evildoer or would I fight against, you know... Or would I just let them bite the dust and stuff? No. There were choices to be made, and that's all part of the power and responsibility. Great power. Greater responsibility. It's something that every one of us all knows. And in the case of Optimus Prime, he's always said freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Doesn't matter who they are, what they've done, we always got to protect that right. And I'm like, okay. That's who I am. I claim to be an Avenger. I will be that Avenger. Okay? And that is something you should all think about. Because in a few more days, it's happening, people. We're going to see Donald Trump on that podium in front of the White House. In, well, I think it's in front of the Capitol building, not the White House. It's one of the two where they hold the big inauguration ceremony and stuff like that. Either way, we're going to see it happen. It's done. It's over with. People need to calm the fuck down. There's so many out there that are still saying they wish Donald Trump or his family would suddenly just die off or something. And so on and so forth. But even if something happened to Donald Trump, Mike Pence is still his vice president. He would automatically take over as president. And Mike Pence is worse than him. I mean, uh, they're like two peas in a pot. I mean, no offense to anyone and stuff, but that's how I feel about it. Either way, 
What are your thoughts and opinions on this one? Would you or wouldn't you? Leave it down in the comment section down below. Because that's it for this episode of the Adventurous Joe Show. Next week I will be back with our controversial episode of all time. Does big name companies play favorites to big name YouTubers too much? That's going to be a big controversial thing, and I've already spoken with my a couple of our legal people on it and stuff, and they've said that we can't name names. We cannot name names. The names of the companies we're going to have to name and stuff like that in order to get the point across and stuff. But in the case of the YouTubers, we cannot name names. So that's just how that's going to go. We're, we can say he or she, but that's it. We cannot name names. Either way, because it's kind of like an open-ended thing, you know, like uh, you say something on there about them, they could probably come back and sue you on it, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, we can't do that. But we can name the names of the companies that have been doing this kind of thing. However, there's big risk at this, so like I said, it's going to be our most controversial episode ever. Either way. That's it for this episode of the Avengers Joe Show. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you're new, and bravo to all of our new subscribers. Thank you for coming on board. We've got great stuff on the horizon. And coming in February, we are starting a brand new show called YouTuber of the Week. We're going to start introducing you and showing you some of our favorite YouTubers and stuff that you've probably seen on a previous episode of the Adventures Joe Show when we had our top 10 favorite YouTubers of all time and stuff. Okay? And they could range from anywhere from our very own lovely Tara Babcock to Alpha Omega Sin, MMPR Toys with Bruno and Mia and Jerry, or anything of the above. It's all up in the air and it's all up for grabs because. When you're named YouTuber of the week, you're going to know it. And so will all of the United States of America and all the world as well. And that's it, my adventurous ones. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. And please, no fighting amongst the comments about who's right or wrong. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's going to have one. Including yours truly. But either way, don't forget to leave it down in the comment section down below your answers to our question. Would you or wouldn't you protect Donald Trump? That's it. I will see you all next week on the next new episode of the Adventurous Joe Show. Until my then, my adventurous ones. Until then, 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 then. Sorry about that. Until then, my adventurous ones. Peace out. May the force be with all of you. We'll see you next time.